Hi, welcome to the Mini Writing Festival. And one of the most important things you're going to learn is how to access the live workshops. So you've logged in, you come to the Mini Writing Festival dashboard. And you can see here the grey button. I'm going to zoom in on this that says live workshop links. That's going to be blue a week before we go live. And you're going to hit that button and you're going to come to a page that has every single link and it'll look exactly like this. So you can see here that we've got each series, which is the ages five to eight, the lower, the middle, the upper and the high school. There's 20 links here for every single workshop. And there's two ways that you can access the live workshop. Let's look at Sue Whiting here on the 30th of May. Starting at 9.30 a.m., everything's Australian Eastern Standard Time. And you're going to click the Zoom link. Why would you use the Zoom link? The Zoom link is you're in the classroom. It's interactive with your students. It's interactive because if a student's in um, visibility of the camera, we can see them and they can see us. It also means that they can share their work on their whiteboards, their notepads, and you'll see a lot of interaction during the festival where they're sharing words, ideas, characters, and together we're going to be writing through that workshop. So Zoom's interactive. It's in a classroom where a teacher is managing the students and you know which students can be in shot and out of shot um, as your standard practice is. YouTube is a really good option for students that are working from home because they're in isolation, whatever may be occurring for you that day, that week. They can still see the festival live, but it's a one-way experience. They see everything in real time, but we can't see them. And there's no chat. So they get the experience. They get to be part of it. It's just for security and privacy reasons, we cannot see them. Now, here's a really important part with the YouTube. You need to copy and paste that link and send it to your students. We don't do that. That's your responsibility. You understand what's appropriate and what works in your schools with different students and their circumstances. So we never share these links with the students. Only you, the teacher, has access to them. You're going to see these links here as well where they're in different locations, but those questions you've got ready for the authors, you've been working on those and we're gonna read them out and respond in the workshop. We put those links in there for you as well, just to make life a little bit more simple. So I'm now gonna show you, you just click on the hyperlink that says open here for Zoom. And this is the experience that you will receive. You'll see here that it reconfirms you've got the right author, the right date and time, you're going to fill in your details as the teacher. You will register and there's an instant email that goes to you with the link and the access for you to jump into that workshop. So there's a couple of tips that I'd give you prior to the workshop and doing this. One, we will have it open 15 minutes before the live date. And you'll see a bit of fun, some casual things going on. It's not the workshop, but it's giving you time to check your sound, check your audio. But I'd really recommend, like anything, if you can grab some time the week before and check out your Zoom links, etc., cetera, uh, making sure that your video, your audio is on, I'd really encourage you to do that. So we've just gone through how you access using the Zoom link. The YouTube is exactly the same. You just click the link and it'll come on live and you'll be able to access it if you choose to use the YouTube link. There's just flexibility for you. And then there's a final link for those questions that we can't wait to receive from your students so that our authors can respond and that's part of the engagement. So two ways, Zoom and YouTube. Feel free to ask some questions, but it's pretty straightforward. Can't wait to see you.